I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler discovered a new way of life. Today, we're going to talk about close personal relationships. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. The new way of life? It's know who you are moment by moment. This means know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. There are four locations you can think from, and you can only think from one at a time. It's the head brain, the heart, the belly brain, and the mind, which is outside the body. Why are close personal relationships so important? To live a long, healthy life, everyone knows to eat the right foods, obtain the right amount of sleep, and exercise every day. A recent study showed that having three to five close personal relationships is the best predictor for how long a person will live. These close relationships can be romantic, family, friends, co-workers, or business partners. Let's talk about romantic relationships. How do you tell the difference between a close relationship and a controlling relationship? In a close relationship, both individuals think from their heart with kindness and giving. In a controlling relationship, People think from their head. It's about themselves. They often have thoughts of anger, jealousy, judgmental thoughts, critical, and the need to control others and events. What if you find yourself in a close relationship or a controlling relationship? For a close relationship, if you think from the heart with kindness and giving, and the other person does too, then enjoy every minute of a long and healthy life together. A controlling relationship can be unhealthy, stressful, and not enjoyable, especially during difficult situations. These individuals may abandon you or blame you for the problem. There are some controlling relationships that do last for many years, as long as both individuals know that it's a controlling relationship And there is no verbal or physical abuse. A close romantic relationship sounds wonderful. So what is a close relationship? A close personal relationship is with someone where you can be yourself without having to think about what you say or worry about what you do. There's no judgment, criticism, or blame. You always have each other's back no matter what happens. How do you develop a close romantic relationship? That's the question everybody asks, especially during Valentine's Day. The answer begins with having a healthy lifestyle so that when you meet someone, you'll be open to develop a close relationship. What do you mean? Be kind. This feeling comes from the heart and can be felt by the other person. Have empathy for the other person. Understand how the other person feels with no criticism or judgment. Thinking outside yourself, thinking about the other person. Giving. This feeling also comes from the heart. Give your time, give your energy, and give your help with expecting nothing in return. What else do you do for a close romantic relationship? Eliminate anger in your life. Learn to bypass the anger response with empathy and being kind. Eliminate stress in your life by not having self-destructive or self-pity thoughts and by eliminating thoughts of jealousy, resentment, or retaliation. Bypass these thoughts by giving your time and your help. Is there anything else? Be your true self. What does that mean? It means know who you are moment by moment. This means know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. There are four locations to think from, the head, the heart, the belly brain, and the mind. You can only think from one location at a time, bypass thinking from the head anger center and that self-thinking stress center, and think from the heart with kindness and giving, and think from the mind for creativity and the feeling of total calmness and unconditional love and acceptance. How does this help? It starts with trust. If someone is trying to be like someone else, 
You don't know who that person is. Are they acting like someone else in the situation or are they acting as their true self? This is especially a problem during a crisis or stressful situation when you need to be able to trust that other person. Another major issue is feeling good about yourself. If people are not happy with who they are, they're often angry and complain. They're always looking for blame and you often end up the target. This is an impossible situation for a close personal relationship. And it's important to have optimal physical and mental health for a close relationship. What about close personal relationships with friends, family, co-workers, or business partners? It's the same. Use kindness and empathy. Listen to the other person and put yourself in the situation. Give. Give your time, your energy. Give your help. Not take. No taking the other person's enjoyment, pride, confidence. No commands. Do not try to control the other person's life. What does it take to have these positive feelings every day for maintaining close relationships? It takes discipline and a willingness to work at it every day. You need to live a healthy nutrition lifestyle by eating the right foods in the right amount at the right time prepared in a healthy manner. Eliminate foods with added sugar, added salt, and processed omega-6 fats. Have the healthy habit of eight hours of sleep every night for recharging your brain energy and that dream sleep for being kind and thinking about others. Have the healthy habit of one hour of exercise every day for energy. Be grateful for positive people in your life and for enjoying the day. Close personal relationships are healthy. Do you have any closing comments? Having three to five close personal relationships is fundamental for a long and healthy life. Develop close relationships by being your true self. Think from the heart with kindness and giving. Think from the mind with creativity and unconditional love. Be grateful for the positive people in your life. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about how to eliminate stress in your life. 